Hey everybody and welcome back. So, in the last one we helped uh, Dutch um, sort of liberate some horses with eagle flies. And uh, this time around I'm heading towards Micah to help him sort of steal Whoa. the dynamite. If you guys could leave a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button and maybe the little bell icon beside the subscribe button, that would be great. Now then, let's go see Micah. Yep. Hey, you rancid little turd. What's up? Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. You take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> <laughs> Ah, he is one hell of a All slime right, ball. Let's go. Let's ride, Bill. Have fun, boys. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol, over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So you was just talking about something? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Let's hold up here. Oh, so, don't want that. There you go. I think it'll be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. We'll take the two of them to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of them. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and. You, you're the better actor. No, you play dead and I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Oh. Eric! No moving! 
this place. These people. Move, you wicked! Move! And boom. Right in the ass. What gun is this? It's the uh Kakano. The Kakano man looker. Anyway. That was easy. Alright, let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice drug playing. Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Ah, uh, no. It just never goes easy no more, does it? And in front of us. You need to take him out, Arthur. I'm all right, Arthur. There are explosives in this wagon. Why are you shooting at us? I suppose they figure it's better to blow it up than let us get it, I guess, but they are like riding right next to the ship. Ah, right in the eye. Yeah, but we, they are like riding right next to the wagon. Whilst trying to shoot it, so. Yeah. You know, Arthur does, does have a point. <laughs> it should make sense to us. Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating me, and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. <laughs> I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Oh, there you go. I got the Carcano rifle from doing that too, so...
Okay, which one is closest? Uh, yeah, I think it's this one actually. Rains Falls. Or Rains Fall. Uh, okay, let's go and see him. And then I'll do the Sadie Adler mission uh, at a later time. Yeah, the annoying thing about this part of the game, when Arthur is ill, is that all the calls, like, drain remarkably quickly. Like, the, the dead eye one's gone already, and I, from what I can gather, you can't really replenish it that easily. So you just have to keep drinking, uh, tonics, I think, yeah, miracle tonics. Why is the horse stop? Ah, oh, it's one of those Murphy guys. Yeah, uh, let's go. I don't fancy fighting anything that's growling, man or beast. Yeah, that's the thing with this game, this part of the game as well, that um, everything is just so like sparsely laid out. Like the Penelope Braithwaite mission is back in roads. This is all the way up here, in an area we haven't really been to yet. Um, there's missions down back in San Denis as well. There's a lot of travelling between uh, certain missions. Yeah, I'm not really in that good area yet, am I? I want to be, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I haven't really quite gotten there yet. Which is... Ooh, what the... This is a nice looking place. I must be nearing the camp now. Oh, yeah, I think I am. All this travelling is ridiculous at times. Like the length you have to sort of travel across. Yep. Must be nearing it. Yeah, must be coming up on it now. Oh my god, yeah. 
Then again, I think I may have mentioned it like a felt early, early in the walkthrough, but the traveling in this game does seem a lot like it takes a lot longer. It feels like because you have to keep hitting X all the time, or like A or whatever you're playing it on, um, to sort of get the horse to gallop. So you tend to you know, notice the time passing by because <laughs> your hand's just getting uh, getting worn out. That and the horse could, you know, suffers exhaustion and stuff like that. So, you know, the travelling seems... Like, you travel a lot more, I think, in GTA than you do in this. But in GTA, it doesn't feel that bad, because you just have to hold down R2. Now, in this time, a third mission has appeared. What's this? Ah, that's the one I wanted to do. Ah well, let's go and see what Rains Falls wants. Ah, of course, yes, the big tent. Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son... Thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, oh, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight, please. It won't take long. <laughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. 
As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be bored, but there's so much to be done. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, we'll continue what a lovely guy. on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Yeah, this is quite a slow mission, I think. If I remember correctly. But luckily the John Marston one isn't a very long one. So. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Your son's a fool, sir. A fool. Good. There was no need to harm them. Why, why, why won't the horse turn? Yeah. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. Hurry up, Mr. Morgan! Come on. Let's stay together. Alright, go on, lead the way. Now I was saying we can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses and, uh, well, you know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. Wait! Where are you going? I'm following you. What is with this game? looking for English mace <laughs> okay let's continue on so you were saying yes a little mostly from your friend Charles I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation and this ain't easy to say but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. You know... I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. Oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. 
Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid. Nineteen. What happened? Wait, stop here. Ah. I want to pick some ginseng. I want to know what happened to his son. More about this later. This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So back to what you were saying. I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. And shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. And that feller, Monroe, how you know him? Captain Monroe was reassigned here from a regiment in the north. Apparently, the news of our conflict has spread all the way to Washington. He's a good man. He wants to help. Well, I guess that's something at least. The army aren't all bad men, just as my people aren't all good. But this Colonel Favors, he walks an old line. He's obstinate and he hates Monroe. I just hope between us we can work this out. There goes the dead I call. At least I think that was the dead I call. The health's not looking too good, like the heart. So, might, be, might have been that. Ah, this is such a slow mission. To find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. That could be a whole list of people. Help me look around. In fairness. Please! The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. It's ruined. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa.
This is a place of peace. Range fall, over here. I think I see an army camp. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, I know one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go, they know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but... No guarantees. I can't even remember where the Chinooka is at this point. Uh, so I know it's in one of the tents, I can't... Is it there? I, I don't know, can't remember. That all depends on if anyone sees me. I'm not gonna hold back. Why couldn't we have come in the night? is near... is near France. Well, it's in France. Indians is from here. Where are you from? Me? I'm Polish. Okay, but uh, that, that went... Ah! Fuck. Sort of went well. Okay. Well, I got like 99.9% .9 of that was done in stealth. How was I supposed to know that guy would just wake up? Oh, well, whenever he was finished, whatever he was doing in the tent. 
at that specific time. Yeah, you know, the, in, you know, on a different note though, I had never actually heard about that thing where he describes he had a son before. Um, when he was riding with Rain's Falls. I never actually like chose that option. So that's interesting. Yeah, I never knew that about, uh, about Arthur. And now it's time to give Rain's Falls the bad news. I almost said Rain's Falls the bad news. Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Now, the question is, where does this mission sort of spit me out? If it's close to where John is, that's good. Not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Okay, let me check the map. Uh, okay, never mind, I'm still in the mission. Back. Up there. Ah, cool. Yeah, I'm right next to that. So I, can, I might be able to do that in this episode. Girl. This is not a long mission. Yep. i got about like 20 something minutes before I have to, uh, you know, finish the video. So if I rush there, it should be alright. And 21 a.m. at 6 degrees centigrade or Celsius or whatever. Yeah, does anyone. What are like people's thoughts and opinions as well on uh, how Red Dead Online is progressing? Because I, I find it quite a shame that it's just not living up to sort of like GTA Online. They are doing some interesting things with it, but it's not particularly interesting, you know? Um. But also, that's also like a limit of the game setting as well, I feel. Because there's not much to, to spend money on, other than games and food hey, and, move. you know... Uh, yeah, games. Did I say games? Uh, guns, sorry. And uh, food. Um, stuff like that. Maybe like upgrades to your camp. But when you get all that stuff, there's not much other stuff. Like clothing, I guess. Like there's new clothing. Um, right, fairly regularly, but... Again, there's not much to spend. That's not a lot to spend money on. Uh, you got like a camp and stuff as well from, which is kind of like a carryover from uh, this game. Oh uh, shit! Nope. Fuck. Nope. Fuck off. Nope. No, you're not. Go away. But yeah, it's kind of like the the camp is kind of a carryover from the single player, which is you know fine. It'd be something if you could buy like a house. Mansion. A 
business. Yeah, that'd be good. Kind of like GTA style. Alright, I got uh, about a quarter of an hour to do this in. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Yeah. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. More chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. Hey, Stider. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. Hey, it would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking Animation about. looks a bit choppy, more doesn't enemies, it, for uh, John? Chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up the bridge. It looks right like stop way. motion animation. Ooh. All right, stop. Here's good. We sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there and you lower the crates. Alright. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. Okay, you should be good there. <laughs> Let's get moving here, Arthur. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Okay, good. Grab the other one. <laughs> Come closer to the edge. Left a bit, Arthur. All right, calm down. God damn, John Marston is a bossy bastard, isn't he? each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Pick up some dynamite. So do I have to get all three? Yeah, okay. I was just wondering where John's okay. planting his bomb. 
I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. And the last one. How you doing down there? I'm coming, I'm coming. Arthur! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! As hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Get ready to jump! I swear that train slowed down. We're not going that fast. Oi, ay, ay. Alright, it didn't slow down that much. I am going... I'm doing it right, aren't I? Aren't I? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Let me try that once more. Hold down as Arthur can. pushes. What the? What? What is going on? Okay, this is, I've never died at this point, ever. So I have no idea what's happening right now. Hey, there we go. Thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Never blown up no bridge before. Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? Guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For, for an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. 
And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <coughs> 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 Ah, don't rub it on your shirt, what are you doing? Uh, anyway, yeah, I didn't manage to do it in the time I had. Uh, I'm going to call this episode to an end. I hope you've all enjoyed. I hope you've all enjoyed the commentary. Um, what's, the, what's up next? Let me check. I think it's the... Oh, it doesn't say. I think it's the mission with Sadie Adler. Going after Cole Mo Driscoll. So you got that to look forward to in the next part. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. Oh god. Yeah, it's really painful watching the deterioration of Arthur's health. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. So in the next one... Ooh, actually. What's that? Ah, yeah. I hate that end summary thing that keeps popping up. So there's a mission here for Captain Monroe. Uh, Honor amongst thieves, which I could do in the next part. And then there's Sadie Adler, and then there's also Penelope Breathwaite. So yeah, got a few things to do. Uh, I'm going to call it end here. If you wait for the um, end screen as well, whilst I remember, there'll be suggestions for other stuff you can check out on my channel. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next time, do look after yourself, do take care, and I look forward to hearing from you then. Ta-da!